little bit later start this morning. I didn't wake up, but I haven't been feeling quite the same. Uh, about a week ago, I got heat exhaustion. I just haven't recovered, and then a couple of days ago, I blacked out from heat exhaustion, and I uh, just haven't recovered, so I haven't really been in the, the mood to really get out and do some hunting, but get out early this morning before the heat comes up and see what we can find, and so hopefully it's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna hit the trio lakes, one, two, and three, and uh, see what we come up with. So let's jump in and let's see if we can find any good treasures. getting this uh, little necklace we up as an 8081 it's gonna be non precious I don't see any markings on it but it's gonna be well, it says something on the top I don't know what it says but a half moon how about that my first find uh, for this new video so uh, let's keep swinging and let's see what else is in here I've been out here about 30 minutes and dug a handful of change, but I got my first ring. It's ringing up a 50. It's a stainless steel spinner ring. Nothing fancy, but hey, it's something to be on the board. Kind of tells me that there's nothing hasn't been detected out here because I've dug a lot of money. So uh, let's keep looking for that silver and that gold. Hey, check this out. I was getting a 97. I love it when it's a 97. And it's a big silver ring. Check that out. It's got a little design on it. Let's see if there's any markings on the inside of it. Uh, I think maybe something right there. I can't really tell. It looks like it's been here a little while. It's kind of tarnished. All right, there's my first silver, second ring, and a silver necklace. That's not too bad. Three good items out right here so far. Just been here a little over an hour. So let's keep on going and see what else is out here. It's getting a real scratchy. I've got my discrimination down to about 20, 25 right now. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to dig these, uh, I think this is stainless steel, a stainless steel chain. I want to dig these things and they sound like iron grunts. And uh, sure enough, as soon as I lowered my discrimination, I got this first signal. A little uh, ankle bracelet. Uh, stainless steel, I believe, but uh, it's a keeper. All right, let's keep on going. It may be silver. I don't think so, but you know, sometimes silver chains will fool you. They'll ring low like that too because they're a chain. They're not solid. And so uh, it's another good find. That's number four found out here. So let's see if there's any more. Here comes the rain. This is a blessing. I ain't seen rain in a while. I'm gonna get out for a little while. It's just been thundering. See what else we can get later on. Well, made it to lake number two. Nobody here. So that's a good sign. And uh, hopefully no one's been here just earlier and I just missed them, but it looks good. But the rain, as you can see in the background, seems to be following me. So let's see how much time I get in before the rain gets here. And then I'll head on down to lake number three. So let's get in the water. Let's see what we can find. Well, not much. A couple of pieces of jewelry and a big coin spill. So I had about an hour here and didn't find but just that. So I'm going to move on to the third lake and see what we get there. So I'll see you in the water. Well, didn't find anything but one necklace there and a handful of change. So I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to pick up my granddaughter take care of the volleyball practice, and then I'll come back out to the lake on Friday. So I'll see y'all then. moved on to a new lake 
and uh, been here five minutes and got a 70 to an 80 jumping all in between from a 70 to an 80 and thought it was going to be some type of penny or something a bottle cap or I don't know but it's jumping around because of all the holes and it. it's a chain ring and it's uh, I think it's gold plated silver is why it's jumping around like that I have to look and see if there's any markings on it but hey I've been here five minutes and already got a, a gold plated ring and a little necklace so maybe I'm onto something so let's keep at it and see what else we can find it's a pretty ring all right let's keep on looking well it's getting a 54 real jumpy signal and it uh, looks like a gold plated ring and it's broken in the middle that's why it was real jumpy like that they don't ring up real solid but it was jumping from a 47 to a, like a 55 but it's got a little diamond a little cross in it there hey I'll take that that's uh, two rings here haven't been here maybe 45 minutes so uh, it's about waist deep water where I find most of everything all right let's keep going maybe there's some more out here that's a nice find this is a silver bracelet with like black and pearls white pearls and black pearls in it it's stamped 925 on all of these on the back I'll try to get a close-up at the wrap-up but hey it's ringing up like a 60 which it normally would be even though it's silver it's because it's all broken up in a chain format so you're not going to get a high tone like that you're going to get a real choppy broken up tone but hey that's a good find right there two rings and a silver bracelet hey let's keep on going it's still early Alright, moving out in deeper water here and got a solid 46 and dug it up. It's going to be a little 14 karat gold uh, band. So that's good. Uh, solid 46. About shoulder deep water. So I'm just kind of making the deep ends now and uh, going to see what we'll find out there and then work the shallows and go into the house. Another gold. That's two golds and uh, a gold plated. So three rings and all gold. Alright, let's keep going. and uh, getting a little bit later start lakes a little bit down but we'll see what we find today I got two areas we're going to hit and I'm going to call it a day and go from there so hopefully we find something so I'm here let's get in the water let's see what we can get Well, looky there, it's an episode. Preacher Digger got his cross. It was ringing up like a 48 to a 50. I had a penny in there too, so it's jumping all around. And uh, I'm just down here, just digging everything I can dig. All the iffy signals, and this is what you get. So, all right, I like that. I'll take a cross anytime. So let's keep on rolling. Getting a 84, 85, 86. Jumping all the... 84, 85, 86 is jumping all around. Let's see if we can find it again. I'm only in about knee deep water. Let's see if I can find it. Yep, that's what I thought. Check that out. It's going to be a silver ring. Anytime you get an 84, 85 like that, it's almost always certain to be a, well, with me and my AT Pro, it's a, it's a silver ring. Ring's got kind of a two side shank on it with a little heart or something. But uh, yeah, 81 could be a penny, could be a dime. 82, 83 is going to be a dime. And 85 uh, is going to always be a ring for me. I don't know why, but it's always a ring. All right, that's ring number six, I think, for the video. And I'm going to stay out here a couple hours and then I'm going to head on to the house and do a wrap up. So. I haven't been here maybe 10 minutes and I got my first ring, so maybe that'll be a good sign. I'm back out here at this lake where I've dug about 20, 20 21 rings so far out here this year. And uh, <clears throat> so 
So we'll see if we find anything else. So let's keep on rolling. Well, made it in from the lakes yesterday. I was just too tired to shoot a wrap up. I was just sunburned and wore out. Even though it was a pretty cool day for Texas, it got down, the rain came in, brought it down, the temperatures down about 75 to 80. That was quite pleasant here in mid-July. But uh, it's been a hard week. Uh, had to do a lot of traveling and a lot of lakes to, to just get what I found, but I did find some good stuff, And uh, but not as much as I normally do, but that's just the way it is sometimes. Sometimes you have great weeks, and I think it's here in Texas with the temperatures being up 104 to 110, you know, the water's hot, the lakes are receding very low, uh, they're getting a little bit more stagnant, people are not in the water as much in our area right now, and so there's just not a lot of rings, and plus, you have to be the first one on there to get the rings, and so there's a lot of water hunters in this area as well, so, uh, but I had a pretty decent week, and uh, I'm not complaining by no means, so let me, got it all laid out, let me spin you around, let me show you what I found this week. All right, I always like to show you my trash, because I want people who know that who detect i don't always find all the treasures you always you always find this as well and i want to show people everything that i dig because this is what you're going to dig too if you're going to find lots of great treasures but anyway there's the foil there's aluminum there's all the the metal the iron different junk stuff there's the fishing lures a lot of vape pens there there's all the bottle caps and uh, aluminum caps uh, beaver tails and uh, square uh, pull tabs I did find a screwdriver and a pair of, uh, what they call hemostat uh, scissors or something like that. Those are, they still work. Uh, what are they doing in a swim area? I have no clue. Uh, here's all the good stuff. Uh, I found a thing of um, a goggles. I always seem to find a pair of those every week. A pair of sunglasses. Got a toy car. I got some keys. And found a 50 cent piece. A half dollar what's interesting is or what I should say is ironic is that I threw that in the lake about seven years ago uh, we our, our local club had a hunt and I put to rings and half dollars in the lake but the lake has receded about three feet so I was able to get way out there and able to find that and so that's kind of interesting I got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen dollars and quarters Let's see what we got here. We got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36 dimes. I got 5, 10, 13 nickels. And here's all the pennies. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 53 dimes. So quite a bit of coins this time around. I got some uh, hoop earrings and one cupid earring. Uh, I've got a bunny necklace. I've got a half moon necklace, which this is also marked 925. That'll clean up. Preacher Digger got his cross. Came late in the hunt, but I got it. Uh, I got a volleyball bracelet, which is going to promise to my granddaughter. She plays volleyball. I got a stainless steel bracelet, uh, eternity tree bracelet, or tree of life bracelet, uh, some weird hand bracelet and a piece of a bracelet and then this, check that out this is 925 black and uh, white pearls you can see they're marked 925 on each one of those and that's really neat my rings for the week not all that great but not too bad i got one stainless steel spinner i got one that i thought was gold but it's too light no marking it's just going to be a, a junker a chain link junk gold ring. I got one gold plated ring with a little diamond in the middle of it. I got uh, two silvers. Here's one with a heart on it. And that right there was ringing up a 97. Wow, that's a nice one. And then I got one 10 karat gold little band. So not too bad on jewelry. Not a, not a big ring week for me, but six rings. I'll take that any day. And so pretty good week there's all the trash and there's all the treasure and like i always say the greatest treasure isn't what you can go out to the lake and do a wrap up on your tailgate the greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven keep searching my friends keep looking up until we meet again i just want to wish everybody happy hunting and god bless mm -hmm.